What's going on YouTube? In today's video, we are going over the full story of Earl Williams, the Wendigo Colossus. Earl Williams worked at a local mine just outside of Monunga before the Great War. He was a single father to Maggie Williams after his wife left early on. She was suspected of being a Kim addict. Maggie was born and raised in Monunga by her father Earl. They both had a really good connection with each other and she even gave her father a pocket watch with Love You Pops heart mags engraved on it. The watch had a photograph of Maggie and her father inside and he always kept it with him. In April 2075, Hornwright Industrial, also known as Hornwright Industrial Mining Company, bought the rights to the mine, replacing the workers with auto miners. At first, this seemed like a blessing to the town, which was plagued by financial hardship. The auto miners quickly and efficiently extracted all the coal from the mine, fully exhausting every vein by January 2076. As Hornwright Industrial prepared to leave the mine that January, Williams and other townsfolk drunkenly decided to steal some supplies from the mine before everything was taken away. Shortly thereafter, Supervisor Deke Sykes blew up the entrance with everyone still inside. Though Maggie Williams herself tried to dig out her father with her bare hands, she was pulled away by others of Monunga. The townsfolk lied to her, saying that he and the others simply skipped town. Maggie did not believe them though and reasoned that they were either paid off by the Hornwright or were unwilling to pay for the rescue mission. Two and a half decades later, Maggie resides in Foundation and wishes to find closure on her father. She accepts that her father must be dead from either starvation or radiation, although hopes that he did not suffer in his final moments. Meanwhile, back in the mine, Williams and others were facing a difficult decision. There was no food in the mine, but one of the miners, James, died from the injuries sustained from the entrance collapsing. Several survivors agreed to eat his corpse, including Williams, though others refused and stated they'd rather die and be eaten than eat another human. After some time, as he and the others continued to eat those who died of starvation, he felt his sanity slip away, in part of being a cannibal and also due to the lack of day and night cycle. Eventually, Williams' hunger got the best of him and he even found himself wanting to eat those who were still alive. Williams also left a holotape for Maggie, which says, Hey Mags, listen, I know I messed up. I never should have came into this mine in the first place. A few supplies ain't worth all this. Don't you for one second start thinking I left you on purpose, and don't you go blaming yourself either. I can't be there for you anymore, but know you are tough and know you'll be okay. Never forget, Pops loves you more than anything. By the year 2103, Williams had mutated into a Wendigo Colossus. Now for the ones who are brave enough to meet Earl Williams himself, you must begin your adventure at Foundation and speak with Maggie and begin the quest Something Sentimental. She'll task the player character with finding a way into the mine with the purpose of finding any trace of her father Earl. She mentions that a large explosion may pry the entrance to the mine open. This of course can be done by nuking Monunga Mine. After doing so, this will trigger the world event A Colossal Problem, where players can team up and take down the Wendigo Colossus Earl Williams himself. Through this event, players can get a ton of unique items such as weapons and camp plans. If you enjoy Fallout content like this and you want to see more, I also made a video over one of the best shotgunner builds in all of Fallout 76, so if you want to check it out, I'll link it in the screen right now. You see that? That is my shotgunner video. <laughs>